think of a fish shape and then think speckled trout. Mm. This is called trout lily. Um, they make an outrageously large flower for the leaf that they have. When it is in a, a spot, and I see no sign of flowers on this cluster right here. When it is flowering, yes, that's a single leaf, single leaf. A single leaf is immature. When it's going to flower, it comes up with two leaves because it takes two leaves to power through to make seeds. So one leaf is an immature. When it's fat and sassy, it'll come up with two leaves and it will flower. And the flower will come right out from between the two leaves and it will arch up above it. Like I say, it'll, it'll be a really big flower for the size of the plant that you see. They grow two ways. In deep shade, they grow vegetatively. If they get enough sun to be happy or they're mature enough to have put on plenty of weight so they can do a flower, um, they will then flower. But we have areas out in our, outside our fence here where there's just hundreds of square feet of these at this time of year and hardly a flower to be seen. And then other groups you'll find are just loaded with flowers. They're in a warmer spot, more sun. Um, they're another true spring, spring ephemeral, so they're gonna do their thing. Now that the leaves are nearly uh, full, they're finishing their season, so they're starting to die back. One of the first signs that they're dying back is this little root. Mm -hmm. That little root comes up from one of the plants, arches up, dives back down into the ground, and then it sucks all the nutrients out of the leaf and the old plant and starts itself anew several inches away. So every year, this plant walks four to six inches. It just takes one step a year. <laughs> wow. That's pretty cool.